This looks like the fucking. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think this is uh, I don't think this is gonna work. This is like borderline Monks the Scream. Kind of looks like that a little bit. I don't know. If you guys Google the image, you'll see it. It's better than that. Yeah, it's hard for me to. T it was hard for me to tell if this was a boob or not. I thought it might have been the arm. Like this is the shoulder here, right? And then like the arm was kind of going back like this or something. But if that wasn't, then yes, that would that would be like the boob there or something. Something like that. All right. Next we got no name, but they say don't husker me. Don't you husker me. I have a full house. It, yeah. That's why I was confused if it was side boob or a hand. Nothing wrong with some side boob. Hey, you do you. Ladies, gents, and everything in between. In the 80s, there was this thing, I remember, you've probably seen this look before, but in the 80s, there was this thing where it was like border, it's borderline kind of like porn, but not really. But it was like, where it was like almost nude, but not nude. And it was when uh, women would wear like overalls, but just overalls, you know? So like the straps, I guess. And well, sometimes, I guess it went up. But I guess from the side of the overall, so from the front, it was totally covered, but from the side, you could kind of, it's not even really soft core though, right? I feel like with a string bikini, you see a hell of a lot more than that, you know, than overalls. But I think from the front, the overalls actually covered pretty much everything, but it was from the side that you'd get like a lot of side boobs. It's definitely pinup type stuff, sure. It's suggestive as fuck, sure. Tasteful tease. Sounds like a village, people. Husk wearing nothing but... <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. All right, that's for you, mysterious purchaser of prints. Next, we got Ruby with no special instructions. Well, Mick, your mysterious purchaser of prints has been revealed. Um, as you can tell from that video, um, today I'm going to be talking about another print that I bought. Um, I haven't exactly got the chance to uh, make a video about it, but until now, um, I finally decided to get um, to talking about my print. Um, my uh, apologies if um, what Mick was talking about was a bit crude or something like that. I didn't realise this was the topic he was going to talk about when he was signing my print. But, you got to admit, it must be amazing to watch. You know, like you're watching someone famous signing you a print. And sending it to you, and you physically have it. 
that's got to be something special. And I'm going to film that because <clears throat> just before I started filming, I checked out um, Midlaw's um, Twitch channel. It's called Rice Pirate Nick. I don't think this. Um, I don't think his host stream videos are on there still. There is um, one that's about a few seconds long, and that's all there is, I think. I but I'll provide a link down below. Um, for those who want to know what who Spaz Kid is, um, I've got um, a fandom wiki page. Um, it's called Corey Spaz Kid. Um, he's um. An internet animator, game developer, and um, well, uh, yeah. So um, that's about it, really. Well, he's also uh, a member of Sleepy Cabin. I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, um, so he's um, an internet animator, game developer, and he's a member of Sleepy Cabin. So yeah, got a picture of him just there for those who want to know what it looked like. See, that was. Um, that was the picture. I, I locked up Spice Kid because I didn't know who he was. Uh, Mick Lawhorn was sort of drawing, trying to draw his signature, just um, to show people what his signature what looked like. So if this video seems a bit crude, just towards my family members, don't take it personally, please. Um, but yeah. So um. That's that out of the way. Um, the reason why my phone's slightly higher up is because I'm now I'm using a, a different stand. Um, I've got like this selfie stick slash stand, um, and I'm now um, using it. I will show you in the next, in another video what that looks like. Um, So I think for today I'm going to show you um, what I use to film my videos. So this is the stand I used to film my videos with. Um, but for now I'm just going to talk about the main topic. Otherwise this video is going to be half an hour long. Um, I'm just, let's, let's got this above my bed. So here we are. That was quite quick. Here's my print. Um, so much to talk about. Oh, um, there's a stand here, so you could probably stand it on something, which is quite cool. I don't want to pull it out too much, otherwise I'll break the frame. But yeah, here's my mate Husker. <laughs> I say mate because I sort of relate to him. Not obviously not the drinking or the gambling issue. Um, Dusty, it's been up on me wall for a while. Um, yeah, so this is my husk print. Um, I chose the line, don't you husk me, I have a full house, because in the, um, the Has Been Hotel pilot, this is pretty much one of the lines he said, and as the picture shows, he has a full house, as in full house of cars, but also the full house of the Has Been Hotel cast slash members if you're regarding voice actors or characters yeah see just like um, the cards from my last video or a few videos ago this kind of fits the bill um, I like the little um, doodle he created the, um, the little husk I um, don't know if you could see, but um, here it is. I like the fact that he's written it in gold because, to be honest with you, you could see it better slightly. 
I mean, sort of, it sort of shines a little bit. Um, but, um, yeah. The first, um, I've watched all of his um, live stream videos on Twitch, and um, one of them I think was two hours long. My video was included in his second two hour stream. Um, I don't know if I ever have it, but I do have a time shows when the video was. If I have a pitch, I'll show it you, but anyway, here it is. If I have it or not. I'm pretty sure I have, but there it is. I didn't check before, so yeah. Yeah, so this is a decent sized print. Unlike my lunar print that I had ages ago, I actually have a frame that fits this one. My advice is, and I know this doesn't happen often, but when you get a print, I would recommend getting a small one. If you want it framed, that is, because I think this is a 10 times 8 inch frame, so 10 inches up, 8 inches across. The lunar one, I think, is 11... I can't remember. Anyway, well anyway, as you can probably tell, tell from... Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, it's not COVID, by the way, it's a cold. But, yeah, see that lunar print, because it's an awkward size, my mum, well, I did buy a print myself, just to be clear, but because I had the wrong, because as I said, showed you before in my last video, I picked the wrong size because I was being an idiot and didn't check what size it was. And, um, well, I ended up getting a too small frame, but my mum found a frame that's sort of the right size and sort of not the right size um, but it works in a way but this is perfect it fits perfectly and I did it all myself this was my print was number 65 and then forgot to mention but yeah enjoyed listening to Mitt Lawher's um, live streams now, for those who have watched his live stream, um, some of, there was some like mature content that were involved. I'm not going to mention. There was something about Spice Kid as well that I didn't want to mention as well. But I mean, I mean, yeah. But yeah, otherwise, I really am happy. I got my first has been hotel cast member print or has been hotel character print but anyway um very really awesome oh yeah and um I nearly forgot about this but Mitt Lawhurst left handed and if I remember correctly he's dyslexic as well so he has a problem reading See, that's information that I um, learned from the live stream. So I really am surprised I can remember this because it's been a while since I've seen the video and I'm not going to, not that I will now, but if the video's worse still up, I'll never be able to go back to find out for you because obviously it will take 100 years. At the moment, I'm watching Marker Player, Marker I nearly said Mark Player. I'm so sorry. Mark Player. Mark Fishbot. I've been watching his stream where he's been trying to finish this game called Welcome to the Game, which is hard to explain. It's about um, getting into these um, websites and trying to find... Well, you're an investigator and you're trying to find out a murder mystery and you do it through the dark web. I can't say any more, but but that was a hard, hard game for 
I haven't played it myself, but watching Markiplier play that stream, I, I'm full, I feel frustrated for him because I can understand his issue. But not in the level that he went through. Because I can understand that there's game, there's times where I get frustrated for not progressing in the game. And yo, know, I feel you, Mark. I really do. Anyway, um, don't think there's anything much to say, but otherwise, I'm happy. I bought a Moxie and Millie print. I'm going to show them both. But anyway, um, that's for another video. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. And also, this is one of my Red Bubble shirts. If you want to buy one for yourself. I'm sorry this is a bit of a mess. It is an old shirt. But you can still buy a shirt like this or the new updated version on my Red Bubble account. <coughs> Sorry, a bit of gas. Anyway, um, my other links are down below and see ya.